From the fast action of the trading pit to the power brokers making the headlines, you'll hear it all on the Traders Network Show with your host, Michael Yorba. All right. Michael interviews the front page titans about the latest in trading tools and market trends in stocks, commodities, bonds, forex, and derivatives. The Traders Network helps you stay ahead of the curve and delivers tomorrow's trade today. Now, here's your host, Michael Yorba. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorba, your host. Thanks for joining us. Broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios. And worldwide through yorbamedia.com. All right, my first guest today, Mark McGuire, CEO, Merchant Bank Resources. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are in need of working capital, this is your go-to guy that can get you over the hump in those tight spots. Mark, welcome to the show. Thank you, Michael. All right, my pleasure. Mark, you've got a great history in this industry sector of, of actually helping businesses to create commerce and create employment let's start with your background a little bit you started off in the real estate industry as as a uh, well actually as a salesman and then turned into a broker right that's correct when i was uh, 19 years old uh, i was fortunate to be licensed uh, as a realtor with jerry mcguire realtor the number one real estate company in hazelton pennsylvania where i'm from I'm from a very small town uh, jerry senior and his son jerry t took the time and trained me in real estate best practices sales, and professionalism. Okay. All right. Now, through the process, you ended up being a broker at uh, a very tender age of some 23 years old, right? Exactly. You know, I, I didn't know uh, I was going to be one of the youngest brokers in the country. I just wanted to become a broker. So, like I said, Jerry Sr. and Jerry Tia's son helped me with the studying. Uh, I sat for my examination at 23, and I, I passed. Uh, and in 1994, uh, I opened, opened my, own, my own company up. Okay. Let's get into merchant banking resources because – and the concept behind how you came to to be, to be to have that business. And I know that there's a good backstory there. You know, I was a, a mortgage broker and a direct lender uh, for almost 11 years and uh, moved to Southern California. Uh, we built a residential mortgage company. We sold it. We built a, a commercial mortgage company. We sold it. Uh, and then I, uh, in 2007, I thought, all right, let, let's uh, let's keep on doing this on this path. But we all know what happened in 2008. The the, the market uh, obviously slowed greatly, and uh, you know, my wife and I decided to build a company that we can help our existing clients. It, it was at that time I had over 2,500 uh, funded mortgages, commercial and residential. So we uh, we reached back into our database, into our clients, our customers, and frankly, our friends. And uh, we made them aware that we're able to provide them uh, a business loan to continue the growth of their business. If it was a dry cleaner or a doctor or a multi-million dollar manufacturer, that's what we were providing. Okay. All right. Then t- tell us the, the more the metamorphosis, how, you've, how you evolve from the mortgage business into merchant banking resources. In 2008, uh, obviously, as I mentioned, the, the mortgage market had slowed down. Uh, we had uh, our phones were ringing off the hook with clients asking us for short-term loans. Uh, these were restaurant owners and other business owners that were employing between five people and sometimes hundreds of people. Uh, so we have made it a point to go out into the marketplace with our bank connections and our investment connections, our hedge fund connections, and we frankly started Merchant Banking Resources with the thought to have a funding source for these successful businesses who are making best efforts to become more successful and, frankly, hire more people and get our economy back to where where, where it needs to be. All right. Now you've got a quick and easy and, and a fast business loan process. Walk us through that. Tell us how this works um, and, and, and what separates you from the rest of the people that are out there doing this. You know, i got to tell you, uh, the first uh, 18 months of the business, uh, is uh, a flash. It just was 18 months of getting the bank connections, working on the, the, the actual language of the agreement that would be accepted to the banks and underwriters, so on and so forth. But what we came out with is this. We have a very simple one-page application. It's 32 questions. You can fill it out in 10 minutes. We do it now online through our website. It gets automatically submitted to our underwriting department, and we just require a handful of things. Those things are business bank statements, Credit card statements, if you do process, frankly, most of our clients don't even process credit cards. Uh, it's your business license, your driver's license, and lastly, the void check of the business account where, we, where we would like us to fund uh, your business. 
So we, we gather the information, we process it, we underwrite it. We have an approval typically in a couple of hours, uh, at, at the worst case, 24 hours. If there's a larger request, it requires more documentation. Uh, and we're able to fund your request from 25000 up to $3 million uh, in as little as five to seven business days, okay. which is uh, substantially less, obviously, than your corner bank. Yeah, that is that's that's light speed when it comes to uh, to debt financing. Now, the twenty five thousand all the way up to three million. You've got to be in business for some period of time to to start to qualify for these kind of uh, commitments. Michael, that's exactly right. The minimum uh, requirement for length of business is just six months. Six months of business, we're able to see that you have created a track record of cash flow, customer base, and obviously a. Uh, uh, a, a, a growth a growth market that you're actually your business is growing okay now I heard cash flow I didn't hear uh, you know um, collateral or, or real estate or property you know other types of property what what are some of the criteria that you're really looking for you know I got to tell you we, we really made it as simple as possible uh, we don't require collateral uh, we don't require even excellent credit uh, we are a cash flow investor, a cash flow lender. Very simply, we look at your previous cash flow, we look at your current cash flow, and we look at your projected cash flow. And that's as simple as giving us account receivables or showing us contracts you have in place or giving us a a look into your website, a look into your database. Quite frankly, we find ourselves that we're in the business of business. We, We know what a doctor takes to run a successful practice. We know what a successful hair salon needs to run a successful hair salon, all the way up, as I mentioned before, to a $100 million a year manufacturing company that needs capital for inventory or capital for core product. So we look at cash flow. We look at business type. We look of length of business, six months as a minimum, uh, and we look obviously at the potential for the business. Uh, let's talk about the geographical region. Are you are you centralized, meaning you're, you're staying in, in in the the city that you work with, or or is it bigger than that? You know, Michael, that's a great question, and I appreciate it. I, I can tell you that we're able to do loans in all fifty business states, all fifty states, of course, and also Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. W- w- you are really on the forefront of what's going to happen next because you have a small business. I mean, even IBM started off as a small business and you're going, you've got your finger on the pulse of what industry sectors are really expanding faster. D- let's st- step aside from this for just a second and, and, and get into your sights on the economy from where you see it on the funding side, what, what do you do? You see any pockets or industry trends that are starting to pop up now more so than than any, any others? Absolutely. Uh, you know, it's 2015. It is much much easier now than it was just just 10 short years ago to start your own business. Uh, we have clients that are running a million dollar business out of their second bedroom. You know, and we're okay with that. Uh, a home based business is absolutely fine. Again, we base it on, on revenues, we base it on business model and business type. The growth sector we, that we see specifically uh, uh, is home-based businesses. Mm-hmm. We, see, we see the ability for people to hire more staff that can work remotely. There's no more driving back and forth from your home office to, uh, to the corporate office. Uh, you know, those days are done. The, the, the Internet and the speed of the Internet and the smartphones have made it very, very easy for people to be proficient and efficient from anywhere they are. Uh, you know, we all dream of working from the beach, but realistically, working from your home office and attending the office occasionally, uh, the growth pattern that we do see is in the software writing sector, that the, the we also see uh, the ability for, uh, uh, for companies uh, such as buying a franchise. Uh, you know, we, we, we funded... We funded many subways. We funded many um, uh, uh, Kentucky Fried Chickens. You know, the ability for us to to fund their needs is is what makes us a bit different than than, than the banks. The banks are looking for excellent credit. The banks are looking for three years of proven cash flow, and, and, and frankly, that's difficult for most to, to provide those items. Especially startups. So I would imagine that, you know, and believe me, anything under a year is still, a, and you can go further than that, is still considered a startup. It, I would think that you'd have a lot of these incubator and accelerator companies coming to you after they've got their original funding, they've got the company off the ground, they got at least six months' worth of uh, 
uh, you were the cash flow on the books that they can show you. Is that something that, that you're seeing a growth rate in? They're trying to seek seek out uh, funding Mike, of your Michael, sources? Michael, you, you hit it right on the head. You're absolutely right. We're, you know, Obviously, we've known disclosures in place with our existing client base, but I can tell you this. We're very happy to tell you and share with you uh, and the listeners that we have successfully funded uh, many over-the-stock companies, you know, uh, penny stock companies, emerging growth companies, Again, clearly, as long as we have a minimum of six months in business and the ability to show cash flow, it is, it is our job to look at that business model, see the growth pattern, and provide them what they're looking for. I, I was told a long time ago by, by Jerry T. McGuire, don't sell anybody anything. You're never going to be successful if you try to sell, sell, sell. Find out what they're looking for and simply give it to them. And that sounded kind of coy. 25 years ago, but now it's like it just we live that business model. It just makes perfect sense. So the answer is yeah. Emerging growth companies uh, were right there with it. We we just funded a uh, a, a very large software company, uh, and they write software for applications for games on smartphones. And uh, you know I'm not an IT person, never planned to be, uh, but I can tell you we understand their business model clearly, and we funded them uh, five times in the last two years. We funded them from twenty five thousand up to one point two five million just a few weeks ago. Wow, that's a rapid growth rate. We've got to take take a commercial now, but before we go, please contact information so people who are looking for what you're doing, what you're providing, can reach out to you. Uh, our website is merchantbankingresources.com. dot uh, com. We have a toll free number that's eight 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 seven five seven nine one six. And my direct number is area code 310-486-3442. Great. All right, Jerry, we'll be right back after these messages. I'm Dr. James, founder of Diamond Physicians, a concierge medicine practice located in Dallas, Texas. Our Diamond 360 advanced physical exam has been created for people like you, We live a high-stress, fast-paced life. Every 40 seconds, someone in the U.S. experiences a life-changing heart attack or debilitating stroke. Negative stress tests and normal cholesterol levels do not exclude you. Half of all fatal heart attacks occur without warning. Diamond goes beyond traditional medicine with the Diamond 360 Advanced Physical Exam, proven to prevent heart attacks, strokes, and diabetes. Contact Diamond now at 214-395-3491. That's 214-395-3491. 395-3491 or visit our website at diamondphysicians.com to take the diamond challenge. If your Diamond 360 reveals perfect health, receive a full refund. Your loved ones will thank you. Paid for by Stan's Marine Associates Investment Research. Hi, Ron Paul here. Today I have an urgent message for every American who's retired or thinking about retiring soon. You see, our own government's disastrous policies have now put you, me, and everyone over the age of 50 at great risk. Sometime in the near future, we're going to have yet another financial crisis. This one won't be solved with bailouts and it will hit seniors the hardest. I fear there will be civil unrest, a drop in stock prices, pension fund collapses, big changes to Social Security and Medicare, the erosion of personal liberties, bank and brokerage closings, and ultimately a major crisis as the U.S. dollar is rejected for almost any non-paper alternative. Don't let this happen to your retirement. Dr. Ron Paul strongly believes when the next crisis hits, there will be no warning and the government won't save you. Go online to www.ronpaulwarning9.com where you'll learn simple steps you can take to protect your retirement. Go to www.ronpaulwarning9.com. BTJ Consulting was founded specifically to consult with accredited investors on how best to manage their oil and gas investments. The emphasis is not only on direct participation in drilling projects, but includes opportunities in the purchasing of oil rigs, service and equipment companies, real estate and or the purchase of royalty interest through lease pooling. This strategy further mitigates risk and spreads their clients' investments over the entire sector whenever possible. For more information, call 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. That's 469-518-5008 or info at btjconsulting.com. 
and tell them Yorva sent you. America was built by people with a few dollars and a dream. And while many don't know it, there's one path to success that still only requires a dream and about $10. That's right. If your dream is to start or grow your business, something as simple as the right business card could make all the difference. And today at Vistaprint.com, you can get 500 full color business cards for only $9.99. That's right. Only $9.99. Just go to Vistaprint.com and enter promo code 4433 at checkout. That's Vistaprint.com, promo code 4433. This is an announcement for all people who want to take a risk-free challenge to whiten their teeth in five minutes using clinically proven power swabs. This risk-free challenge is for people whose smile has been yellowed by coffee, tea, or smoking. It's so effective, we challenge you to try it for five minutes to see how white your smile could be. If lines are busy, try again. Dial 1-800-663-5922. That's 1-800-663-5922. 1-800-663-5922. Welcome back to the Traders Network. I'm Michael Yorby, your host, broadcasting to you live from the Dallas KFXR 1190 AM iHeart Media Studios and worldwide through yorbamedia.com. I'm joined with Mark McGuire, CEO, Merchant Banking Resources. And uh, I, I, my hat's off to you, Mark. You are helping people who have great ideas, and can, you know, get their ideas up off to market and expand their business and, and scale them out. You know, uh, it's a huge cry for for money out there right now. And there's a lot of people that uh, really are having a tough time you know, with great ideas getting it passed. I mean, look at the horror story that uh, Apple had trying to get his first, uh, you know, first uh, loan to get his business off the ground. Yeah, I agree 100 percent. That's why we started this business. Yeah, you're you're gonna you're at the forefront now. You not only take new ideas, but people are 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 coming to you to work with you. Also, you've got sixty five funding specialists and, and and growing, and and hundreds of referral partners. You've got a unique way of um, how would they say uh, uh, getting getting people to, to beat a path to your door. Talk to us about the concept of how you came up with that, how that's working, and and where you see that going. Uh, it, it goes back to my real estate days in 1994. Uh, we were always we we're selling real estate, uh, thank goodness, very successfully, and we had to keep on waiting for the, the banks to do the approval process. And I thought there's got to be something we can do to expedite the, the process. Uh, I spoke with a handful of friends that were that were bankers, and I said, "What what can I do to help you expedite this approval process?" And uh, the one gentleman said, just start your own mortgage company. And I giggled a little bit. I'm 24. I was like, what do you mean start my own mortgage company? He said, start your own mortgage company. If you think you can do it better, maybe, and he was sincere. He wasn't being sarcastic. He said, if you can do it better, you have control over the client because you're listing their home and they're selling their new home, uh, why don't you do the mortgages as well? And we talked about it, and we did, we did the, the proper licensing. We did the proper training. Uh, we became a mortgage broker, and I found that controlling the transaction from listing to financing to sale was the, was the way to go. And uh, we started the one-stop shop at that point. Vice versa, in 2008, when the mortgage market uh, and the real estate market slowed down, we wanted to do the same exact thing with business loans. So as opposed to going to your, 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 your big-name bank and give them the, the half-a-pound file of information that they require, we built a quick an easy and fast business loan company. We streamlined the approval process and the funding process. We have a one-page application. What what bank has a one-page application? There's none that I know of. So we, we did it that way. The, the whole motivation we have is to take a successful business, provide them working capital that is needed, allow them to continue their success and grow their business, hire more people, advertise, market their products and services, buy inventory, open a second location, and can just continue the growth process. You know, it, it's the, the wash, rinse, repeat uh, aspect of it. And I can tell you, uh, 80%, and I'm very proud of that number, 80% of our clients renew with us. And it's, it's an exciting conversation to have when you find somebody three months ago and they just don't even call anymore. They send you a text message or a, or a private email hey, Mark, I need another $150,000. Or, hey, Merchant Banking Resources, we need 185000 for this project. And, and that's what we do. 
Now, you're also being very careful about who, who you lend the money to. Yes, you're, you're, you're taking in, you know, almost like the Statue of Liberty, you know, bringing your hungry, hungry, you're tired, you're cold. But on the other side of the, 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 the spectrum, let's say that the investors who are putting up the money to go out and lend uh, the money to, to these new ideas, these, these startup companies, sometimes there's a default rate. And it, where do you stand with your competitors on, on that default rate? We are lending and investing only in existing successful businesses. As I mentioned before, six months is the absolute minimum. We are not the lender to pay your past due rent. We are not the, the loan provider to pay you know, uh, your, your state sales taxes. We are the investor and the lender to get you to the next level. That's what we do. We, we really uh, want to work with, with businesses and with business people who understand their product, understand their, their, their wares, and more importantly, what we do specifically is we provide them the capital needed to grow. So to answer your question, our default rate is way less than 1%, substantially less than 1%, and our typical business owner uh, are, is successful at some point. Okay, so you you have an innate uh, ability with your questionnaire to find out whether you're really going to see a successful business on this to, to, to make the loan. So that would give you a real inside track in what, uh, what, what you know, with your success rate to, to your ability to, to really forecast trends in the economy. Uh, you know, I mean, that's a whole other inside line on, on what it is that you're doing. If I may change just a little bit. Um, now, this is a non-bank business lending industry you're on the inside track of it you're you're breaking all the molds on here where do you see this industry going into the future what do you, what changes do you see happening as we go forward the changes that i see specifically are the ability for us to lend more money to 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 more people merchant banking resources uh, you know and i'm very proud of that we we are in the forefront we are being approached by much larger banks offering us money to lend to our client base and obviously, you know, through our referral partners and our salespeople. I believe that we're frankly in a growth pattern and we're very, very proud of that to be part of that network. That being said, I do forecast that 2015, us personally, Merchant Banking Resources, we're going to see another four or 500% growth spurt that we saw in 2014. You know, as we streamlined our underwriting process, we worked on our proprietary software with the ability to to uh, uh, you know, cl- close the loans much much quicker. So I like to think that uh, certainly in 2015, uh, all businesses who are successful now are going to be becoming frankly more successful. All right, and they're going to be coming to you rather than going to the traditional bank, the traditional venture capital people who want 80 percent of their business or what have you. They're 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 seeking out quicker and faster ways to to get the capital that they need. And, and you hit it right in the head, Michael. Our slogan at Merchant Banking Resources is saving you time and money. And I mean that, and we mean that sincerely, because the one thing you cannot buy is time. You know, that's what we do. We do it quickly and efficiently, and we obviously do it as best as we can. Okay, that's a huge growth rate that you had mentioned. Do you see, uh, if I heard that correctly, uh, uh, anywhere from a 3 to a 500% growth rate as we go into, let's say, 20, throughout the 2015, 2016? I, I believe that's going to be the case, absolutely. I mean, but money is more accessible. The people who are successful are becoming more successful. They're hiring more people. I believe that we're on that trajectory. I mean, Merchant Banking Resources had a 416% growth in 2014 over, 200, over 2013. And that's the number of uh, dollar loan business loans we provided. Our first quarter this year has been our absolute best first quarter, hands down. So you would be an extremely valuable resource for anybody that wanted to do the next stage of investing in companies because you've got databases of cash flow, successful companies, and obviously, you know, maybe somebody breaks out of the mold and they need more than $3 million. Maybe they need 30, 40, 50 million dollars. I would see you as having an invaluable database of thriving companies that are, that look to do much better and scale scale higher. I mean, have you have you thought about that value there? I have, Michael, and you know what? You hit it right on the head. That's exactly the direction that we're going. We have the ability to syndicate funds. You know, there is no one bank that's going to write you a thirty million dollar check. But if you syndicate the funds and you have 
successful companies like I think that we are and certainly other companies that are like us, banking companies, investment companies, hedge funds, and you know companies of that caliber, we're able to put together the business model and structure the deal that makes sense for everybody. Wow. Yeah, I can see this as an emerging uh, an emerging sector that's just going to go go right through the roof. All right, um, we're we're about ready out to uh, close on our segment here. We've got about two minutes left. I want to back up a little bit and just give you free range of where you think um, you know we're going to be see some because you said you mentioned home based businesses. But, um, you know, there's there's all kinds of things that, that come to your front door on this and what you think that, you know, the future looks for uh, in in this industry sector that you're in, because we, we touched on it. But let me give you some more time to walk on that. I appreciate that, Michael. You know, I see the non-bank business lending industry growing well into the future. You know, as I mentioned before, the one thing you cannot buy is is time. You know, banks are wonderful. Uh, banks are able to do what they do. They do it very, very well. We just take that and do it a lot quicker, a lot more efficiently. And as I said, our renewal process is, is much, much quicker. The ability for us to, to lend money and invest money, as I mentioned, our, our motto internally here at Merchant Banking Resources with our sales staff and our support staff and our underwriting staff is, you know, we are in the business of business. We understand the business model of growth and success. You know, Merchant Banking Resources is here to provide the working capital necessary for a healthy business to continue the growth and success. I mean, that's that's what we do. Right. Mark, we've got to close for now, but the next three guests on my show today, I'm definitely going to send over into your direction. I really appreciate that, Michael. Thank you for your precious time. All right. Thank you. Mark McGuire, CEO, Merchant Banking Resources, and the web address that you can find Mark at is Merchant Banking resources.com coming up next paul moeller president moeller international uh this gentleman has got a flying car and it's already been uh widely received we'll be right back on the other side of this break 